Afternoon folks, it's Kenny here again and we are going for another overnight camp um, Last week was so good, I've come back for more And this week we're going for a Kraylag and Muluk Frakwar um, I'm hoping the weather stays as it's forecast which is clear and a low wind and got a bit of work to do because I've left this kind of late I was away the golf this morning and again another poor performance so I've decided to come out and just recharge the batteries on the hills again Let's go Wow, beautiful evening eh? 5 o'clock now And all calm Just met a walker and he said it was roasting up the top But just reminding me of the need to get on board some water So I'm going to load up here with the water and take the extra weight because I don't think there'll be anything further up A good hour and a bit Whew, I've gained some height And That's a continuation of our route up there to our Kraylag And looking around there is where we were last weekend There's uh, Karen Glassad over there And out there to Sail Hoare in there And Skewern and Conway in there So that's our destination Get up there in about another hour maybe Magnificent cairn of Acrylag Beautiful I was thinking of pitching in that wee intermediate top there which will give us a good start in the morning up and down and away and look at the views eh there's the South Glenshield Ridge and then the North Glenshield Ridge there's a cloud inversion coming in there and that's north there over to Glen Affric and Mallard Duck 
and the big giants over there. There's a whole lot of these little biters jumping on my head and getting into my ears and horrible little things. I'm going to head over to that intermediate top there. It's quite flat and put the tent up there. Hopefully get there before sundown, uh, for sunset. Need to get my finger out right enough, but I certainly won't make uh, Mulek for a quarter tonight. Um, I'll probably get it in the twilight, but I'll not get over there to get the tent up, so I'll pitch the tent in that little lump there, intermediate top. I'll put the name up later. Let's go. And we've came down from a cray lag there and the sun is setting so I don't see any point in carrying on trying to get up there, not with a heavy pack. So I think I'll put the tent up here. Let's go. And there she goes. This gap tonight and all its finery. Bit of a slope. <laughs> well, it looks solid enough. We're back on the old pot noodles again. Two weeks in a row, jeepers, this is becoming a habit. Another Saturday night takeaway. Let me stop this habit, eh? We'll leave it in a wee bit of water in the pan. And we'll get organised and come back. Tonight I've got an insulated mat, and I've got the Thermarest, and I've got a, a gilet sleeping bag here. Uh, the other night was a bit too cold and I've got a new pillow because the Trekology one was leaking and I've only used it before or five times and they told me it was out of warranty because it's over a year old. Pure junk. Don't waste 25 quid on one of their Trekology pillows. Get yourself a nice cheap one and accept it's only going to last a year. Let's come outside. So I'll sign off just now. I'll go and set up the camera. And I'll tune back in in the morning unless anything exciting happens. Eh? This is up, bright and early. A bit windy during the night, but nothing major. Tent's bone dry. Wee cloud inversion coming in there. And there's Mulek Fraqua there. And the sun will be rising in that direction near east very soon.
construct camp, all clean and tidy, leave no trace, blah blah blah. A wee look over a cray leg again, Schooner and Conway in there, and our sail shore in there, and a nice wee inversion there as we're heading up the ridge here, up to Mulek Fraquois. So that's where we pitched our tent. We've just come down the ridge. There's a wee cairn here to mark your diverging point. If you're heading down into the glen there and you'd go left back, follow the track back to the car. Look at the cloud inversion there filling up the glens. And we're heading up that ridge there. I'll leave the big heavy pack here because this is a bit spicy further on. And I'll bring in some footage and show you. Let's go. of narrow sections on this ridge this is the bypass path for the first section not so good in the winter but it's fine today and then we head back up onto the pinnacles so to speak Final section trips. <clears throat> and there's our cairns, a shelter and a cairn. There we go, troops. And a wee shelter. Glad I didn't come up here to camp last night I think I've needed to have pitched here this area here or possibly there but we've got some great views as well eh? Square Nan Camer Ethan there over to the other big boys on that side, Soka then right up to Malarduck area in Glen Affric and look at that for an inversion right up the glen there, eh? beautiful
straight down, we just thread our way through the pinnacles, down that ridge, down to where the zigzag is, where that big pack is, looks like a man, but that's us, and we'll zigzag down that path, and do that burn all the way down there into the clouds, then a turn to the left, and then follow the glen back out to the roadside at the Clooney. Folks, that's us safely down off of Mulek Frakwardia and great walking up there without a pack. <laughs> what a beautiful sight we've got now with the cloud inversion and the sun shining on it and illuminating the clouds. Just descend this track here nice and easy down to the basin and then a gradual descent down to about 400 meters then we'll turn left and head out the glen If you've stayed with us thanks very much i hope you've enjoyed the content and maybe found it a bit interesting to see what the scenery's like up there um, camp was lovely could have chose choice of three sites i'm happy with the one that we stayed at um, so i'll leave you for now and i'll catch up with you next time eh look out for each other keep safe atb yeah Cheers. <laughs>